Now this is a, a parabola and we want to write the equation of this parabola. Now I have come up with a equation. Uh, I've thought about this uh, for a number of times or for, for a number of I've taught this for a number of years and I've come up with a formula. Uh, the formula is basically not my own formula but I've thought about it and uh, this is one area where stu students struggle to write the equation of a parabola. So the equation of a parabola is general equation is like this. So this is y is equal to always a which is a number times x minus I'll write like this xv the whole squared plus yv. I'll explain what this means. A is a number which we have to find. Now xv I mean by xv is the x coordinate of the vertex. I'll say this is the x coordinate x coordinate of vertex. V stands for vertex. x coordinate of vertex. If you know the vertex or the turning point you can use this formula. And this is the y coordinate. So let me write it here. How can I write here? So this is basically this is x coordinate and this is y coordinate. y coordinate of the vertex. So so this is y coordinate. So let me drag this. So this is y coordinate of of the vertex. Hopefully you can see what I mean. So we have the vertex here. We have the maximum. This is the vertex which is 7 comma 10. So by just looking at this we can say well the equation has to be y is equal to a times x minus 7 the whole squared plus 10. So here what I'm saying is this is your xv. This is your xv which is the x coordinate of the vertex and this is your yv. The y coordinate of the vertex. And now you have to just figure out what is a for which you have to put substitute any value other than the vertex. So well we've got this point which is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept tells me that when x is 0, when x is 0, y is how much? 5.1. So let's put this in this equation and try to find the value of a. So in place of y I'm going to put 5.1. 5.1 is equal to a times 0 minus 7 the whole squared plus 10. Okay, so if you take away 10 from both sides, so phi take away 10 is how much? 4.9. Am I right? Four point, so let me get my small calculator. Let me make it uh, standard. So this is a simple calculator. So phi point one take away ten just to confirm is minus four point nine. So I'm taking ten from both sides. So this is equal to a times this would be times forty nine. Okay. So now a dividing both sides by forty nine. This is minus four point nine divided by forty nine. So let me do it. Divided by 49 is minus. Okay, uh, let me do it again. Cancel. Minus 4.9 divided by 49 is minus 0 0.1. So this A is minus 0 0.1. So we can say the equation is Y is equal to minus 0 0.1 times x minus 7 the whole squared plus 10. So we need to answer two questions. What's the what's the y coordinate? What is y coordinate when x is 10? And secondly, 
uh, imagine this is a part of a, a rocket or a part of a ball. So when it was thrown, let us make up a story. When it was thrown, it was thrown at a height of 5.1 meters. Okay, it reached the maximum height of 10 meters after seven seconds. So the question is, when would this ball fall down? So the question is, if this ball will fall down, so where, what is this point? Or what is the x coordinate, or what's the time when your height is going to be zero? So we'll use a graphic calculator to do that. We can do it algebraically. So let's type in this equation minus 0 0.1 bracket x minus 7 squared plus 10. And we need to change the scale. The scale I'll go from say 0 to 20. 20 would do, yeah. And on y, I'll go from 0 to 12 would do. Scale of 2. And see what, yeah. So here's a graph. So we'll need to confirm G sol y intercept. Y intercept is 5.1, G sol and maximum is 7, 10. We want to find the y when x is 10. So G sol. Uh, y calc yes when x is 10 that would be 9.1 so when you can see this answer this is 9.1 and this is when height is 0 when x is 0 what is y no when y is 0 what is x is what we want to find so again g sol and x calc when y is 0 so that is 17. After 17 seconds, the ball fell down. Okay, now for practice, I would like you to write the equation of this graph. So I'm just making up a, say this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. And say, so let's say this is, and uh, say this is, let me make up a number here. Yeah, you can make up your own story. So this is say, 10 and this is say 2. So this is 10 comma 2 and say this is this is say 12 comma 12 comma 4 okay or 12 comma 5. Okay so the question is we want to find the equation of this graph and we want to find what's the y-intercept.